All right. Monday night in rainy Los Angeles. Thank you for coming out, everybody, and uh, joining us here on the Yoga on the Computer, Yoga in Los Angeles. Um, let me get that light. I'm going to leave it on. Maybe it adds ambience. So here's a story I told before. Uh, it's a story I like. It's not necessarily mine. It may become mine. Um, so uh, when I was in India, uh, you know, you, always, you see monkeys around and stuff. And I remember this guy telling me he had gone on some trip and he was in, there was like a small van he was in and uh, he forgot his bag of uh, food that he was gonna eat for whatever while he was out uh, and around and he went back to get it. And when he came back to the, uh, out of the van, there was a monkey standing there and it reached up and grabbed his bag and then went, ah! and, he, and he let the monkey have his bag. So as a, like a tourist, um, you know, the monkeys are fun to look at, but as someone who lives there, the monkeys are like rats with bad personalities that steal shit. And they literally build uh, gates on their uh, windows and stuff just to keep the monkeys from coming in and stealing their uh, food or whatever else. So uh, there are uh, monkey catchers that when the monkeys get really bad um, in the area, they call someone who has to come and um, try to remove the monkeys. If you're ever interested, you can look up a show called, uh, it's called Monkey Thieves. I don't know if it used to be on Netflix or something. Um, but anyways, so they had this guy called the monkey catcher. And um, one of the things that the monkey catcher does is he takes a coconut and he cuts the top off so that there's just a hole big enough that a monkey hand could get through there, right? And then also what could get through there is he takes a half of a banana, cuts it in half, and then shoves it inside of the empty coconut. And then there's a small hole that he drills in the other side of the coconut where he ties um, a rope to it and he puts the coconut out where the monkey could get uh, access to it. And he runs the rope way far away and he hides like back you know, behind my couch or something, holding one end of the rope. And sure enough, a monkey comes along and he sees the coconut and the curious monkey, uh, hence the story Curious George, um, all the books I read, uh, comes, sees it, and then he can smell that there's a, a banana in there, reaches his hand in the hole that pretty much only fits his hand, grabs the banana, and then realizes he can't get his hand out of the coconut, and then realizes that the coconut has a string on it because the coconut is being pulled back to where the monkey catcher is reeling him in. And the monkey panics, he's trying to rip his hand out of the um, coconut and he comes up, the monkey catcher brings him all the way in and puts like a giant pillowcase over him and takes him off to some other town and throws him out into the forest to, because the monkeys have become, you know, so problematic in that um, area. So what is the moral to the story? I know that Frank yelled it out last time I told this story. The moral to the story is let go of the banana and your hand can come back out. And um, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Let's stay seated today. Uh, um, not the whole time, although that is definitely on my mind. Let's cross the legs. I'm going to do this. Don't do that yourself unless you do it normally. Otherwise, just cross the legs. This is just uh, natural for me to do and somehow simple. Let's just sit for a moment. We're going to pull the shoulders back. We're going to hold the core. Let's breathe. All right, Terry loves the monkey story. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I'm not wearing that one out too much. And just, we're gonna breathe, but we're gonna breathe. <coughs> Excuse me, woo! We're gonna breathe and reach the hands up on the in-breath. On the out-breath, we bring them down. Excellent, we breathe in, reaching up. 
And we breathe out, bringing them down. And again, breathing in, up, breathing out. Just a few more of these real exaggerating the breath, which we're going to do the whole time that we're practicing yoga in through the nose, out through the nose, super big. And if you could put the tongue to the roof of your mouth and continue to breathe in and out through the nose, that is awesome. Just a few more of these. And out through the nose again, a couple more. I've got in this bad habit of breathing out through my mouth because I've been doing some Wim Hof breathing and it's so quick, it's kind of hard to do in the nose. So I've been doing it in the mouth and I need to bring it back to the nose. Nose breathing is so much better for you. I'm not saying that Wim Hof is wrong. His breath is just quick. So it's not always possible uh, to do uh, only in the nose. Just a couple more of these. But the breathing that we're doing tonight is all in the nose, unless you're stuffed up for whatever reason as best you can, breathing in the nose. Let's take the right hand and grab the left knee. And then uh, the left hand, just sit right back behind you. So the shoulder pulls back as we're twisting, and then we gently look back to uh, the back wall or as far as the head will go without forcing it. You can, the twist can have a little action in it, but the head should be a light looking back. Great, let's go over to the other side, whatever the opposite is for you. Sit up real tall. I remember one yoga teacher saying, it's like squeezing a towel out of your spine. So you can think of that, I thought it was great. Good, back around. We're gonna reach the right arm up and we're gonna bring it down the uh, back and then the left elbow or we can grab uh, with the other hand or you can come around the back. But be sure to have the head pushed back so you can continue to look forward and that'll push into the arm which will open the shoulder joint and let's continue to breathe here. That person that said to squeeze their spine out like a, a towel was the uh, the co-owner of Silver Lake Yoga, which is one of the older yoga studios in Los Angeles. I'd like to give people credit if I can remember. All right, let's go the other side. So the opposite arm up and down the back, which for me is the left, hopefully you too. And then again, we grab the elbow or coming around the back is fine if you have that ability. Told a story on one of these um, Zoom classes. They're all on YouTube now about why I can't do that. It has to do with my a collarbone being broken as a child. They said it properly, then it got hit again. So it just, it's not, it's not gonna do that. Just a little more. Great, okay. Let's put the hands on the knees. We're gonna do two more and then we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna actually get into our normal workout type yoga, power, astanga, whatever you wanna call it. Straight line to the crown of the head, circle on the ceiling. One direction at first. So take your time and remember when we get into the heavy stuff, you're welcome to rest. You're welcome to rest in the so-called easy stuff. I can't really determine what that is for you. Let's go the opposite direction. So that's uh, why uh, your involvement with yourself and feeling how things feel to you is uh, a part of the practice, your part of the practice, which is a great uh, introduction to self-awareness and body awareness, which all y'all suddenly turning Texas person for a second there. All y'all do enough yoga, you probably already know, but when you first get into that, there's people that just are not aware of the body and it's such a beautiful thing to kind of get in touch with. Let's come back to center. It's gonna be like cat cow, uh, but with the sitting uh, 
instead. So we're moving the last set of ribs forward, looking up to the third eye, then we're arching the back on the out breath and then looking up, breathing in, ribs forward, arching the back on the out breath. And let's keep doing this. About 20 more seconds, please. Good, back to center. So from here, we're just gonna put the uh, hands at the top of the mat and step back to uh, our first plank. I'm trying this new angle tonight and I'm on the carpet, which is making it a little lighter on my toes. But straight line, crown of the head, shoulders over the wrist, middle fingers straight forward. We'll do a couple breaths here. Hold the core and the legs tight. And then on the out breath, you lower down and then you can hover, you can put the knees down and we're gonna roll forward, up dog. The toes are pointing straight back, the knees and waist are hovering. We look to the third eye, tighten the legs and then down dog. You could put the knees down and you could just roll back onto the toes. We're gonna to look at the feet two fists apart and we'll step them out, breathing. Good, walk uh, or jump to the top of the mat, feet together. This is the first time, so it's big toes together, ankles apart. I put my hands on the shins because that's the only way my legs are gonna go straight. You could have the hands all the way down. We look up, we forward fold on the out breath. Let's come all the way up, reaching out into the sky, down through the heart center with the hands all the way back up on the in breath. Breathing out, forward folding again. We look up, we step back, top of push-up, belly and legs tight. We're gonna lower down, up dog, and down dog. And very nice, please stay right here breathing. Good, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up. Forward fold, all the way to the sky, sweeping the arms up, down through the heart center with the hands in prayer. Back up on the in-breath, breathing out, forward folding again, fingers low. We look up, we step back, top of push-up, lower down, up dog, and down dog. Very nice. Remember, you're welcome to rest. The hands, middle fingers straight forward, hands a distance to your shoulders, feet two fists apart, and then looking at the navel. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, forward fold, all the way back up for one more. Down again through the heart. Breath in, back up. Breath out on the forward fold. We look up, we step back, top push up, lower or drop, up dog, legs tight, and down dog pulling up in the back. We're gonna breathe here, remembering that we can rest anytime we want. Breathing in and out. You cannot see me, right? Take your time. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, we forward fold. Let's intertwine all the fingers and turn the palms to the ceiling. We're gonna take the feet apart, turn the thumbs up higher to the ceiling, turn the pinkies down your back. 
And we're going to lean over to the right. And over to the left. Good. Back to center. Uh, move mostly from the hips up, but turn and look to the right. And turn and look to the left. Good, and back to the center. Uh, again, feet together, big toes touching, ankles not touching. We're gonna let the knees fall together as we sit in chair for the second uh, Surya Namaskara V. Up, over, forward, folding again, fingers low. We look up, <coughs> excuse me, we step back, top of push up. We lower down, up dog, and down dog. Warrior one on the right, Right foot steps. I'm stepping almost to where my hand is, so I'm outside the center line. That left foot, when it pivots out, lines the heel almost straight up to heel to heel alignment. Arms up. We're going to stay here for a little bit. We're going to reach the left arm forward because we want the whole uh, chest facing the front of space. And sometimes, because that leg's back there, it feels like it won't come all the way around. Excellent, touch the ceiling, and hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog, down dog, left side, right up almost where that hand was. You'll see the right foot pivots out, and we're back up, knee over the ankle or less is okay. We're gonna reach that right arm forward, trying to shift our shoulder straight forward. Chest straight forward. Excellent, touch the ceiling and hands back down again, step back, lower down or drop, up dog and down dog. Very nice, look at the uh, stomach and breathe. All right, step, hop, jump, top of the mat. We look up, we forward fold, feet together, knees together, sitting in chair, but ankles apart. And standing again, shoulders down, lost my head. All right, sit in chair. Excellent, up over, forward folding. We look up, we step back again, top of push up, lower down, up dog, down dog. Right foot warrior one again, back up, hands in prayer above the head. You can look up, we'll stay here for a couple of breaths. Excellent, hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog, down dog. And left foot stepping, right foot turns out. Arms up, hands in prayer above the head. Looking up, lengthening up a bit, couple breath. Good, hands back down, step back. Lower down, up dog, and down dog. And great, let's stay right here. Breathing, looking at the navel. All right, step hop, top of the mat. We look up, forward fold. Feet and knees together, sitting in chair and stand. Let's do a couple more of these, sit in chair again. Excellent, up over, forward fold. We look up, we step back, top of push up. Lower or drop, up dog, down dog. Right side again, warrior one. Back up, hands in prayer above the head, looking up, lengthening up. If you feel like it, arching back a little bit. Great, 
Hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog, down dog, and left side, warrior one. Back up, hands above the head, looking up. All right, hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog, and down dog. Very nice, we stay here, breathing. All right, hop on up, top of the mat. We look up before we fold. Feet and knees together, sitting in chair, standing. Let's just do uh, one more tonight. Sit in chair. Good, up over, forward fold. We look up, we step back, top of push up, lower down, up dog, down dog. Right foot outside the center line, left foot. Turns out, hands in prayer again, looking up again, maybe arching back. Excellent. Hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog, down dog, and left side, right foot pivots out, back up, hands in prayer, looking up, lengthening up, maybe arching back. Great, hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog, and long down dog hold, looking at the navel, breathing in the nose. Good, hop on up, top of the mat, we look up, before we fold, feet and knees together sitting in chair, and let's stay in chair. You could bring the hands in prayer and look up. You could just have them out like a goal post here. We're just gonna continue breathing. Very nice, let's stand. Take the feet apart about the distance of the uh, hips or shoulders. Grab elbows or prayer and let's just hang down. You can move the shoulders a little bit, maybe move the head a little bit. You could bounce or you could just hang and let, you gotta let, you know, like the story in the beginning, let go. And it's not easy, it, it's a learned thing, surprisingly. In fact, I ordered a book on Amazon today all about letting go. That's how not easy it is. So do your best. Okay, peace fingers. I'm gonna go out of frame, but touch the ceiling and then all the way back down. We're gonna come under the big toe on both sides. Palms are facing in, thumbs are touching the ends of the fingers. Big toes push the fingers and hold them down. Elbows pull out. Top of the head, let it go. Good, hands fully up to the ceiling and then hands fully down um, underneath the feet from the front so the toes are Touching the wrist, my legs are bent. If your legs go straight, that's awesome. They can be bent. Try to bring the top of the head down. Breathe a lot in the nose. On your next in-breath, stand. And we're going to just stand here for a moment. Feet back together, big toes touching, maybe thumbs out, shoulders back. All right, let's pinyasa a little more. Sit in chair, please. Good. Up over, forward, folding, fingers low. We look up, 
We step back, top of push up, lower down, drop down, up dog, down dog. We're doing warrior two on the right, right foot steps, left foot turns out, arms out over the legs. Good, try to keep the knee over the ankle so it's not flopping side to side or too much out over the toes. Hold the core in. You see this hip is trying to go back, but it is connected to the knee in the front. So we try to rotate that left hip back, but not at the expense of the knee in the front. Shoulders drop. We breathe and look at our middle finger on the right hand. Good, straight the leg in the front. I'm gonna shorten my stance about a half an inch. You don't have to, we're gonna reach out a bit and then triangle, either right hand just on the shin, left arm up or palms facing out and away. If your hand gets way down there, you can grab the big toe, but you want everything stacked. So the way that I'm set up today, you can see it's kind of a straight line right over the leg and it's best to stay right there. And then if you can get down, get down. Otherwise, we go where we can go and breathe. Lengthen the breath in your nose, lengthen the tail to the crown of your head. Good, both hands on the shin for a moment. This is where you have the opportunity to shorten the stance a couple more inches. And we're gonna keep the left hand down and the right arm up, lengthen the spine to the crown of your head. If you need a little bit of leverage, the back of the left hand goes outside of the leg. I'm gonna look at the toe. You could look to the reaching hand, but you push that hand against the leg, lengthen the tail to the crown of your head. Just a moment here. Good, hands back down, step back. Top of push up, lower down, up dog, third eye, down dog, and left foot stepping, warrior two. Woo, I got the mat moving tonight. Good, we're gonna stay right here and breathe. Hold the core, light shoulders, breathing in the nose. And straight the leg. You could shorten the stance a tiny bit if you want. We're gonna reach out and triangle again. Left hand on the shin, right arm up, or palms facing out. Looking up to the reaching hand if possible. If not possible, looking down is great. But we lengthen the back through the spine to the crown of the head forward. Let's breathe. Both hands on the shin. Let's shorten the stance a couple of inches. And we're gonna keep the right hand down. Keep that left hip in, because there will be a true tendency for some of us to try to jump it out and reach the left arm up. You can put the uh, back of the right hand outside of the left leg. Grip your big toe down in the front a little bit. Lengthen the tail to the crown of your head. We're gonna breathe here just a little. Good, hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog, and down dog, and let's stay here in down dog. All right, hop on up, top of the mat. We look up, we forward fold. Feet and knees together, sitting in chair. And again, simply standing. 
Excellent. Let's just take a moment, feel the body, get in touch with what's going on. Shoulders back, hold the core in and up. Let's do the second uh, part of the standing series of sitting in chair again. Good. Up over, forward fold. We look up, we step back, top of push up, lower down, up dog, down dog. Right side again, warrior two, left foot turns out, back up to warrior two. Breathing, hanging out for a second. We're gonna do extended side angle. We're taking the center of the right forearm, putting it on the knee. I'm gonna have a fist on my hand today. You could splay, I may change it up. Left arm up and over, looking along the elbow to the ceiling. You could put the uh, right hand on the ground, looking a little bit forward. It's your choice, let's breathe here. Excellent, back to warrior two. So check it out, you could keep the back foot flat, you could come to the ball of the foot, swinging the left arm through, elbow outside, hands in prayer, turning the fingers of the face. You could also put the knee down if you like, pointing the toes back. We're gonna breathe. Great, hands top of the mat, step back again, lower down, up dog, down dog, and left side, warrior two, back up. Here we are, breathing in the nose. Letting go, letting go. I fix my shirt, then we're gonna take the left forearm on the Left leg, right arm up and over, or whatever you did on the other side, please try to match that. I'm gonna look up along the uh, elbow to the ceiling and breathe. Good, back to a uh, warrior two. You could keep the back foot flat and come by the ball of the foot. We swing the right arm through, hands in prayer, pull in, fingers to the face. You could put the knee down if you prefer. We're gonna breathe here. Excellent, hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog and down dog. And then step the right foot up and we're coming into horse, holding the ceiling. We'll take a few breaths here. Tongue to the roof of the mouth, breath in the nose, slowing it way down. Excellent, let's stand. Woo, turn those feet so they're running straight forward. We're gonna reach straight up like Superman and then straight down, bringing the hands right directly under the shoulders. They'll go there automatically, so just let them go there. You could put the palms down if you like. The hands should be similar to where the feet are on that kind of same line, and then drop the crown of your head towards the mat. Good, back up, reach to the ends of your fingers. Bring the hands behind the tail. We're gonna intertwine the fingers behind the tail. You could push the palms together if you want the leaf in the upper back. Otherwise, a little bit apart is fine, but we do keep the fingers interlaced. As we forward fold, lifting the arms way up off the back or as far as they will go for you.
Good, back up. Let's touch the ceiling on the in-breath. On the out-breath, we come down and grab the shins, the ankles, or the big toes with the peace fingers like we did earlier, but with the legs far apart, elbows out, crown of the head down. Stay down low, both hands over to the right. We'll grab the right shin, nose towards the knee, rotate the left shoulder through the legs. And then please over to the other side, right shoulder rotates through. Good, and back up, let's stand. I'm not gonna need that much more. Okay, so. Standing on your left foot, you can bring the arms out and we're gonna lift the right foot coming forward into warrior number three. It looks like a capital letter T, mostly. We're gonna breathe here. You can also bring the hands to the heart. You could stay in warrior three, or you could put the left hand down with the right arm up, lengthen the tail to the crown of your head. Keep breathing. If you like, switch the hands. The hip does come down for that. It's a bit of a tough pose. All right. Please stand, we shake it out a little bit. Step it out. All right, standing on the uh, right foot, hands to the heart are all the way out. We're gonna lift the uh, left leg up. And again, hands could be to the heart or you could do free falling. I'm gonna breathe here. If you like, right hand down, left arm up, get tall. Reaching foot to the crown of the head. Switch the hands if you like, that's a tough one, you could skip it. All right, let's stand again. Let's step the feet out again. Let's be on the left foot. We're gonna do tree, lifting the right. I always grab the ankle, lift it up there so it can lock. Sometimes easier than other times, hands to the heart or all the way up. If it's hard to lock the foot, put it out in the front. Also great, We want because we wanna be way up above the knee and breathe as the face looks straight forward. Very nice, let's let that down, step it out. Let's do the other side, uh, standing on the right, we lift the left, hands to the heart, or all the way up. We breathe here. Very nice, let that down, step it out. Let's go back to standing on the left. We want that left foot to continue running straight forward as we lift the right knee up straight forward. 
Right hand grabs right knee, left hand can go on the hip. If you prefer, you can come down and grab the big toe with the peace fingers, extending the leg straight forward, but please continue to stand straight no matter what you do with the leg that is off the ground. Breathing in the nose all the time. We're gonna open that right leg out to the right and we're gonna look to the left. Keep that foot up, come back to center and show me the bottom of your foot. Yes? All right, let it down, step it out. Let's stand on the uh, right now and we lift the left, same stuff. That right foot should continue to go straight forward. As now the left knee and left foot are, you could come and grab the leg and put it out front, but stand up tall. Even if you put it out front and it's bent, the, the up leg is bent, it's okay. The standing is straight up. Open that left leg out to the left as we look to the right. Back to center, show me the bottom of your left foot. Try to stand up straight, don't lean back. Excellent, let that down, <clears throat> let's squat. Whoa, that was my ankle. Push the elbows against the knees, lengthen up through the back. I'm gonna do a quick one today, and I'll talk to you briefly. Tripod headstand to me is the easiest because it's a large base. Some people find the others easy. That's fine. I do them both, but tripod headstand would be hands down, like distance of your shoulders. And then the tripod is for like triangle. So the triangle top is up where the top of your head goes. And it's pretty easy to do out of crow, um, putting the head down and then up. You don't have to do that and you can wait till we're in person and I can help you out or, or do it against the wall or not do it. We'll do some upside down stuff at the end of class that will not be um, as kind of difficult as that. Let's take a couple more breaths here no matter what. Okay. So we're gonna do uh, one more vinyasa into uh, pigeon, which uh, I, I wish I had my mat for that one, but it's okay. We're gonna step back, we're gonna lower down, up dog, and down dog, and let's reach the right foot up for a moment. We're gonna bend that right leg opening up, and then we're gonna throw that shin up top of the mat. Left leg scooches back. You see how the right knee is gonna end up outside of the ribs. This foot could come forward, but don't force it. We look up third eye, a little bit of opening of the sternum, and then down, maybe only hands, maybe forearms. I like to put my uh, third eye right on my hands when I do this. And we're gonna stay here breathing.
right. Hands back down, step back. You could shake the leg that was bent if you like. Top of push up, lower down, up dog, down dog, left leg up. We'll stay here just for a moment. You can bend that leg, opening up, keep the armpit down, and then throw that shin top of the mat, scooch the right leg back. Look up, third eye, open the chest a little bit, and then up, maybe down just to the hands, maybe down to the forearms, maybe bringing the head down. You could lengthen out to a lay down flat. It's up to you. We're going to breathe here. All right, one more time, we step back, time of push-up, you can shake that leg out. You got time for extra push-ups if you want them, we're gonna lower down, up dog, down dog, and let's sit down with the legs straight out in front of us. Again, big toes together, maybe ankles a bit apart. We're gonna do dynamic forward folding, we're gonna breathe in and reach up. We're gonna breathe out and fold down, back up on the in-breath, Back down on the out breath and over and over, please. Great, let's touch the ceiling. Then we bring the arms down. Let's bend the right leg. We're gonna hug it in close. Keep those left toes pointing straight up. You can even pull them back a little bit. Take the left arm and grab the right leg. Right hand behind you, about six inches out from your tail. You could put the elbow outside. Sit up, sit up tall. The right shoulder pulls back and then gently look back and we'll breathe here. Good, let's switch it. Right leg out, left foot in. Right arm grabs the left leg, left hand behind you. We sit up tall and we look at the wall. We breathe. Excellent, back around, both legs bent. Um, you could double up the mat. I've got the nice carpet here so I don't have to. We're gonna bring the arms underneath the legs and roll back onto the tail. You could stay right here. I like to do the arms uh, out recently because I can pull my shoulders back real good there with the arms parallel to the earth. Now you can also straighten the legs with the arms parallel to the earth. You can bring the hands to the third eye or to the toes, but try to keep those shoulders back and it's okay to uh, keep the legs bent. This is one of five. Go across the legs, grab the shins, sit up real tall. The shoulders kind of go down as the whole back goes up to the crown of your head besides the shoulders. Back up, number two, please. Here we go, breathing. Locking those shoulders back. Forcing the, no force, breath long and strong. Cross the legs again, sit up tall. And number three. 
Stay here, I'm gonna sneeze possibly. <coughs> oh, thank you. Go across the legs, sit up tall. Okay, I think this is number four, a lot's been going on. <laughs> Let's breathe here. Go across the legs, sit up tall. And number five, the last one, back up. Excellent, hug the knees in and let's lie back. We're gonna do bridge and those of you that wanna do Urdhva Dhyanarasana are welcome to. For bridge, feet are down flat, feet and knees are about two fists apart, maybe like a little, uh, like a soccer ball, a slightly smaller basketball could fit in there and you can kind of hold it. And then we're gonna lift the hips up. As we lift the hips, tuck one shoulder, then the other interlace the fingers, push the arms on the mat. Those of you that wanna do Urdhva Dhyanarasana are welcome to. Otherwise, we stay here and breathe. Good, back down. Uh, we're gonna hug the knees into the chest and then we're gonna go upside down if you prefer, you can skip upside down. You can lay uh, with the feet in Charlie Chapel, which is the heels together and the knees falling out, just laying down. You can go to the wall, put your feet up the wall and lay down. You can put your feet on your couch and lay down. Otherwise, plow, if you're not already there, will be first. And then once we're done with several breath of plow, we'll do shoulder stand. Plow is kicking the feet up and over the head, hands either on the back or fingers interlaced with the arms down. Let's take a few breaths here. Keep the legs straight as you can. Toes trying to get down towards the earth. If your hands are down on the back, place them there now. You can try to bring the elbows in closer to the distance of your shoulders and then lift the feet straight up. And you could bring the feet a little forward so they're kind of more over the elbows. It's up to you. Allow your internal organs to be free and drop a little bit. Let the inside go and breathe here. Good, bend the legs, bring the knees down. You could stay there or reach back in dead bug. We roll down um, knees in the armpits, soles of the feet up to the ceiling. You could rock around or stay still. Good, if you have a belt or a strap or a piece of material or a towel or a t-shirt or an extra sock, we're gonna do this one because I love this one. I don't always do it, but it's a great one. We're gonna put the strap on the right foot. If you can grab the big toe and have your shoulder down, once you lay down, you don't have to use a strap, but this pose, I really need it for myself. And we're gonna lay down with the right leg straight up, holding the uh, strap on the right foot with the right hand, head all the way down. And we're gonna stay here. If you don't have anything close, you can grab the um, behind the leg and just hold there. And we're gonna breathe. Good, let that right leg, we'll keep a hold of it. You could bend it if you needed to, and that's a good way to do it. If you don't have the strap, if you have the strap, keep a hold of the strap. Let it fall out to the right as you reach out to the left and look to the left.
And let's come up to center. We're going to switch hands on either the strap of the foot. So left is holding right. And now the hip comes off the ground as we look to the right reaching hand. Trying to keep these shoulders on the mat flat. May not be possible, but do your best. Good, back up both hands, come up the back of the leg, bring your nose to the knee and let it all down. Let's do the left side, left on left, either holding behind the leg, holding the strap or big toe, if you can have that shoulder down. We'll breathe here. And let that leg fall out to the left as you reach to the right. Trying to have everything lay flat on the earth. It's not easy, but try to let go into that. Good, back up, we're gonna switch the hands so that left leg goes over to the right, the hip comes up, we reach the left arm out, trying to keep the shoulders down, looking to the left. Good, back up, both hands up towards the heel, nose towards the knee. So the shoulders do come off the earth on this last one. Great, let it all down. Let's uh, bring the knees up into the chest. The arms out like a T, we're gonna take a breath in. As you breathe out, let the knees fall to the right as you look to the left. You could put the right hand on top of the knees. We're doing a short hold on this one today. We still got our five minute meditation coming right on up. I may go over our one hour uh, spot if that's okay with you. If it's not okay, you got something lined up, that's okay if you got to jump. And then let's come all the way up and over to the other side. Left hand can hold the knees down, right arm reaching out. Good, back up, hug your knees in, thank yourself for coming out, tell yourself you good, did a good job, and then let's set ourselves up for meditation. You could take the meditation laying down. I have a mat rolled up here, which I'm going to sit on because it makes life way easier for me. Sitting on something, so just the, the rear end is only on the mat, the feet are on the floor, so you're just uh, raised up in the back, just, it really helps for a long time sitting or for sitting for a long time if you're not a dyslexic. So cross the legs and just turn them in. You don't have to do the half lotus thing. It's just, it's natural to me. I know I've said that a million times. Either hands one on top of the other, thumbs together or interlace fingers with thumbs together. Shoulders actively back with the back a little bit actively straight. The chin drops down slightly, barely towards the chest. The eyes are gently closed. We become aware of the body breathing itself. Nice and simple, nice and natural. We let the body do what the body does because it knows what to do. If our mind is trying to get involved and make us do something else, you could breathe the body like we did in class, actively breathing in and out through the nose, slow and deliberate. If the mind is still trying to involve us in some other 
abstract project that it wants us to do. You can count the breath. When you get to 11, go back to one, and we'll be here five minutes.
All right, let's bring the hands to the heart center, rub them together a little bit. So we got the full moon coming right up, so don't forget to let go. Let's reach the arms all the way up like a big funnel. We're gonna take a breath in as much as you can possibly get. Breathe in more if you can get it. Breathe in more if you can get it. We're gonna hold the breath and then let it all go. Ah. You're living your dream, don't miss it, namaste. Woo! All right, thank you for coming out tonight. Let me do my little sign off here. Uh, thank you for all the donations on Venmo and PayPal. Um, you can find links to Venmo and PayPal on my website, which is danieloverberger.com. We do this every Monday and uh, Wednesday. And uh, that is it. Let me hit, I'll see you guys on Wednesday, but I'm gonna stay on here for a second. Thank you, Terry. I'm gonna hit stop record though. I put this on YouTube and uh, Facebook after the fact.